MS Frog Generator 2. The Frog Software Foundation made a customizable MS Frog Generator. Make your own MS Frog today. Now fully rendered client side using Canvas Magic. All right, so we can make our MS Frog here. So we can sort of drag out some of these things. We can share. We can export, which downloads it to a file. All right, but let's take a look at the source code. So we've given a, a collection of Docker containers. We have one for the API, which knows the flag, one for the bot, which knows the flag, one for this traffic, and one for Open Resty. Now, Open Resty has this web.conf file. So we have like three different paths. We have API and we have report. API is going to change to the API host. Report is going to change to the bot host. And we have some static content. When we look at traffic, so traffic has this web YML which is doing load balancing on API and bot. API has the ability to get, create, and then these reports. We're gonna take advantage of these reports. And when we add a report, you can't add a report unless you have the flag and then it pushes the screenshot. Then we'll be able to get the reports. Now the interesting thing here about these reports is there's no uh, permissions check. So this get API is open to everyone. The bot, when it posts a report, we see this fetch API reports add post, and then we get the flag for the authorization, and then we put in some JSON. And then here is the bots API. Let's get spawning node with bot.js. Okay, so looking at all those things, what are we going to be able to do? We also note in the GitHub for traffic that traffic in versions greater than 2.72 um, changed semicolon to ampersand in the URL request string. So if we see like HTTPS to my example com question mark test URL equals this semicolon, it actually changes that semicolon, which was right here before the A, to simply be a question mark. Now why does that matter? Why that matters is we're going to be able to send something to report an ID and this semicolon will get changed to an ampersand and then we're going to be able to replace the URL. So if we go back and look, right, so when we were doing report, it was in fact saying pass as a proxy to traffic with URL equals whatever URL, but we're going to be able to change that to replace this URL with one of our own choosing. And we're gonna replace that with some JavaScript. And that JavaScript is gonna call API reports add. And we're basically copying this code here. We're gonna say method post, application JSON with the bearer um, for authorization of the flag and sending some JSON. So what does that look like? So we're using curl, glob off is going to make sure that the curly braces don't get interpreted. And I'm gonna put in the correct port number. We're sending exactly this code, right? So if you see it sort of lines up, API reports add, method post, headers, content type is application JSON, authorization is bearer. Now I needed a space there, so I used URL encoding with percent 20. Uh, then local storage.get item. In order to get that quotation mark, I had to close the string, put a slash quote to get the quotation mark, open the string again. Same thing here. And then for 
the JSON, I'm saying screenshot, colon, and the flag. And then I'm going to do a curl and I'm going to get the reports. And so I should get back the JSON containing screenshot followed by the flag. So let's see how we're doing. Uh, we are on port 64305. All right, so it sends. And then we get back our screenshot, Pico CTF, the Free Software Foundation makes the best software. And there is our flag.